So we're gonna test some, uh... We are gonna test some reentry effects in a mod here. So I'm just gonna hop onto this giant ship and grab one of my small ships. Hop in here. Open both the hangers. because he's got some atmospheric thrusters. Alright, so let's see. Ion engines on. Gyroscope on. Landing gear unlocked. Let's get up on out of here. tangential velocity here. Try to skim off the atmosphere a little bit and activate the hydrogen engines. And I know we're not burning any hydrogen here, but we're not in creative mode. I just have an oxygen generator on board. Let's turn off the dampers. Let's see, I hit it earlier at about 800 meters per second when I was testing, and that straight destroyed this ship. So we're going to try to hit it a little bit lower than that. I remember to up our vector a little bit, so we don't come in too steep. So we'll see about how about 500 does. We'll let those ones off, and those ones off. There we go. All right, so we're gonna coast on down here. We're gonna see uh, see if this ship can survive some reentry heat. We're also gonna keep an eye on our speed to see how uh, drag affects us. So we're starting to pick up some speeds. Go ahead and turn our atmospheric engines on. So we're going to want to probably push up a little bit. So our speed's still going up pretty slowly, but we are in weak gravity right now. And we're still at a pretty high altitude, so I don't think the atmospheric effects have happened. Now up in the uh, top right-hand corner, right under where it says experimental mode, there will be a heat monitor that's part of the mod as well. So once that starts kicking in, we'll know we've hit some real atmosphere. I'll have to look into the mod to see if it models uh, Mars having less of an atmosphere than Earth or not. Not sure if it does. All right, so let's just kick ourselves up a little bit. Since we're going to be falling towards a planet at about 17 kilometers. So if this was a real planet, we would be uh, experiencing some heat. Although not at 500 meters per second. That's pretty slow as far as actual spacecraft go. So since I've got the atmospheric thrusters on here too, they should engage as well. All right, there's our heat monitor. We're picking up some heat. We're still picking up speed. Pretty quickly. Heat level's rising pretty significantly. We're now losing speed despite falling into an atmosphere. Heat's picking up even more. I think we're going to burn up. Let's go ahead and turn our dampers on, see if they can help any. Uh, we're going to turn off the ion engines because they're not that helpful. Try to level out. See that little bit of smoke coming off us there? Heat level's still... Oh, now it's starting to fall. I think we might have survived without breaking anything. Let's do five and turn off our forward engines. So all of our speed loss here is due to the mod at this point, because we're not, our forward engines are turned off. Experience second there. There's some heat and everything, but we are in fact losing speed. Even though we're now pointing down, we only have upward facing engines. Well, something got damaged. I saw some electrical sparking there. We'll land here on the planet and see if, uh, see if we can't figure out if anything's broken. Let's re-engage our reversing engines. And we'll lose a little bit of altitude. So this looks like a pretty good test so far. It looks like the atmosphere is going to, in fact, slow you down some. Something definitely got damaged, though. Alright. Got a 
down. Looks like while we were traveling forward, we were experiencing some lifting effects from aerodynamics. So that's pretty interesting that that works as well. Have some really interesting designs on that. Not sure how well a plane would work or anything, but it should be worth a shot. As you saw we really weren't falling that fast, even though I was holding down C. But then once we stopped moving forward, we fell a lot faster. Alright, so let's just set her down semi-gently. See what's going on here. Turn off these engines, we'll turn off the gyroscope. Pop out and see what got damaged. Do I not have any tools? No, I just have the base ones. Respawned into this world after a long time. Character tools, there we go. So let's see, uh, our spotlight took some damage. Ore detector took a little bit of damage, but nothing actually got broken on it, so that's nice. partially repair that. Forward thrusters don't seem to have taken much damage. What is this? Another spotlight. The spotlights are apparently squishy. Oh, this piece took a lot of damage. This thruster's fine, that thruster's fine. The other piece, yeah that one took some damage. So we got pretty close to losing some armor on that descent. That will be really interesting. Oh, we damaged the battery too. Must have been in the airstream. This thruster's fine. This thruster's fine. So yeah, it seems like thrusters are definitely definitely not squishy. This battery's damaged a little bit as well. Is our cockpit receiving? One steel plate worth. One steel plate of damage on the cockpit. How about that? So this that piece wasn't shielded. You see the airstrip to go over it, but this piece was shielded. As was that piece, and so they received no damage. Wow, that is that is really good. I'm I'm pretty impressed. Yep, more armor that was close to being damaged. So in a case like this, you'd have to actually think about some aerodynamics and what's going to be in that airstream first on its way out. Oh, looks like something else is damaged up there. Let's go take a look at that. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm drinking some coffee here. Oh yeah, this cargo container took some serious damage and is non-functional up here. Yeah, can't get the stuff out of it. Now what's interesting is even though the cargo container took damage, it doesn't look damaged. So however they're modeling their damage into it, it doesn't seem to actually deform things. Let's see if this hydrogen tank. No, the hydrogen tank appears to have been included nicely. This took some damage, this took some damage. This guy lost a little bulletproof glass. That should be fine, because it was all behind everything. Wow, that, I am really impressed with how it actually, you know, looks at whether something was occluded or not. So let's, uh, see if we can get back to space. Or not. <laughs> uh, we'll turn off the reverse engines. Something's not pleased. Oh, that's just dirt kicking up. Okay, that's what we do. Alright, so where's our spaceship? It's up there, 90 kilometers away. Let's just pick up some altitude. So we're picking up a little bit of heat just from uh, just from increasing altitude here. Since we're moving now 140 meters per second to the atmosphere. But considering that that top heat's only at 40 versus the like <laughs> 800 that I think it hit on descent. Uh, things could be worse. Could be worse. Alright, let's go. Go, go, go. And now we're going to burn up some hydrogen. Because... Our cargo container is broken. Since it's broken, the oxygen generator can't get to the ice. Where we burn? Let's turn on the ion engines. Point up a little more. Now, our front heat is now up to 80-something. 
You're at about 230 meters per second through the atmosphere here. You're pretty high up now, though, almost 10 kilometers. Let's just let off on the engines, turn off the dampers, and coast a little bit. Now we should, of course, I don't know about at 12 kilometers anymore, but we should have been experiencing some drag on there, which was probably why it was so hard to get going, really. Planet gravity's not as big of a deal anymore. Start burning kind of in the direction of our home. Burned a lot of our hydrogen fuel. I wonder if the oxygen generator was actually damaged. The oxygen generator, oh, so the oxygen generator wasn't damaged, but it can't get to those thrusters anymore because the cargo container is broken. There it is. What's our current velocity vector here? We're looking about there. It's still pretty good. 24 kilometers up. Down 24 kilometers. So it looks like we'll have no problem uh, escaping out of this. So that's good news. All right. Well, thanks for joining me.